so I know I look crazy right now. I'm whispering because I'm in the ER. So this is our first time actually coming to the ER with Austin because he's having a formula allergic reaction breastfeeding right now. Um, I'm the only one in the room, thanks God, and they gave me formula. I think I'm gonna have to go all the way to New Jersey for me to find formula for the baby. Um, but yes, I, we had a rush because it was insane. It is insane. Like, it's, it's really bad. I look crazy right now. I rushed. I rushed. I was like, no, I have to leave. I have to get going. I don't want. I don't want to see my baby like that because it was. It was really random. But yeah, here we are. And yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys updated if anything. I think I'm gonna leave you here fast, so we're good. So yeah, I'm explaining myself better when I'm in the car. It's 4:21. We have an hour here already. Um, no updates, and I'm still giving him this dude some. Food. So, um, it's so crazy. Like, my hair is so long. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, by the way, these are Scarlett's masks. I'm trying to put um, Austin asleep because in here it's crazy and it's crowded, and I don't want him to be out um, near people. The doctors haven't said nothing. So, yeah. See you in a bit. We're out of the ER room. ER. Why I keep saying ER room? We are out already. Um, so what happened was they said that he had an allergic reaction to his formula. Because the thing is that when he came out of the NICU, he was taking the Similac. But since we didn't find it nowhere, I, I started giving him the Enfamil. And that was the that's the cause of, of this problem. So things got is nothing bad. He does have a follow up on Monday. So that's a good thing because he's out of the emergency room and he's going to go see his um, pediatric. So that's good. Um, and thank God that the doctor there, she said, um, not she said, but right when I was coming out, she was like, okay, don't tell nobody. Like, let this be a secret. And she gave me um, bottles. Like, that bag is full of bottles. So thanks God. Um, I don't know if she looked at me. She was like, oh, poor you, poor baby girl. Thanks God for humans like that. And now we're on our way to Target because we need to find we need to find more. Cause this little dude he eats four to six ounces every three hours. So we're talking about big baby here. We're not talking about your regular size baby that eats two to three ounces of milk. And right now I'm I'm like this. Yes. Yes, because I have to fight with him for him to take um, his pacifier. Because if it's for him, he will take bottle after bottle after bottle. So, um, that's what we're doing right now. So, yeah, I'm going to update you guys. Or when I get home, I'm going to sit down and, and I'm going to see if I can talk a little bit more or show you guys. But right now, our mission is to find the Similac baby formula that's our mission right now so let's cross our fingers that we can find it in our nearest target because i searched and they said that it was in stock so let's hope the app is online so guys so we actually found the simulac we actually did and patrick got me starbucks even though it's for both of us he never buys me my own because his thing is that I'm not a coffee person. No money. No money. <laughs> but we found everything and we're leaving. So I'm going to update you guys when we get home. We got the milk. Claro que si, take them out. I hope you guys can see him. <laughs> He's so lazy. <sighs> but yeah, um, Mr. Austin haven't woke up. He He's good. So 
so we're gonna head home now and let's see what we cook let's see what we do today i thought today was gonna be opposite i thought today we were gonna do go to the storage and get the winter clothes and jackets and all that stuff because scarlet doesn't even have her jacket because it's in the storage we don't even have the decor for christmas like for halloween for nothing so today was a surprising day so let's get home and we will talk later so guys it's been it's a couple days i lied to you guys i did not did a look at me lady i didn't film an update when i got home um things got out of control because there was a lot of things to do and all that stuff yada 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 so today's update is that it wasn't how they told me in the emergency it was not a formula allergic reaction it's eczema he's having extreme dry skin and that's that was that was all that was all well of course what his pediatric told me like i told her like all the symptoms and all that stuff because the thing why she she why she said that it was in a formula reaction is because if it was a formula reaction he will he will continue to have the same thing no matter with like what milk or like none of that and it will it, it will be even like a little bit worse symptoms like um you know like puking a lot project 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 projectile vomiting i don't know if i'm saying it right it'll be it'll be a little bit worse if it was the formula that was um making him have like this reaction this allergic reaction and she explained to me and i told her like all oh, the symptoms like oh look listen it's not it looks like he ha he's having a austin Yo comienzo a hablar, pasa de todo. Yo me callo, no pasa nada. Dude, I swear. Um, so, the thing was that when he was having this allergic reaction, he wasn't developing, like, no fevers. Um, he didn't stop, like, going to the bathroom. Um, he was his normal self. It, he didn't look uncomfortable. Like, he wasn't puking all the time. Like, he... It was... I'm not going to say it was okay, but... He was okay. <laughs> um, and the only thing that was happening was this rash all over his, like, torso. Not the legs, not nothing at all. Um, so I, I explained this to her. Like, I told her he never has a fever. He never had a fever. He he was not throwing up. He, he wasn't showing sign of uncomfortableness. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Oh. Everything was okay. So um yeah i told her i was like oh in the er they told me that it was a formula allergic reaction they told me that he was having an allergic reaction due to the milk and i told her that everything that they informed informed me of and she was like no that's not a that's not a formula reaction so that's the update guys and that's gonna be the last update because now he's super good um, she actually told me to, um, to get, um, the, like, what cream to get and all that stuff. And I got it, and he's doing so much better, like, so much good. But it was to the point where he was, like, his skin was really dry. But I don't know if I said this at the start of the, of, of the video, but she told me he has, like, um, eczema? Eczema. Eczema. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I, I always say everything wrong. So you better get used to it. But that's what she told me. So um, she told me like what type of cream to get. So the instruction she gave me was like don't don't use um detergent to have like oh my god uh, uh, dude what are you doing what are you doing the instruction she gave me was to don't use nothing with free fragrance in like his his shampoo his 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 soap like everything has to be fragrance free um and all that stuff like what what i wash his clothes with cannot have um fragrance in it either so it is a little difficult because you even told me like oh don't wear perfume or nothing that has like that can touch his skin that will trigger the rash so we're dealing with that now and 
yeah, he's been pretty, pretty, pretty good and so much better now. He doesn't have like the redness on the skin anymore. He's really dry on his forehead. She told me that that's normal due to the weather, meaning that in winter our skin gets drier. She told me to, she told me to bath him every two days. I was over here about to bath, bath him like every freaking day. So she told me to bath him every um, two days. And what else? He didn't need medicine. Thank God he didn't need medicine. But um, yeah, I uh, I started to give him the similar. Like he's doing way much better now. Because before, and that's why in my head I was like, yeah, this is a formula re uh, um, reaction. Allergic reaction because when I was giving him the Enfamil, he will puke. He will start puking every time I fed him. But it was only when I fed him the, the formula, not my breast, my breast milk. So in my head, I'm like, is this triggering his stomach? Is this like doing something? Is this like creating some sort of like, un like making him uncomfortable, upsetting his stomach? Like, what was it? And that's why in my head, I was like, I was so like 100% like, yes. I was like, mm-hmm. This this is a formula allergy reaction. But um no, it's not a formula allergic reaction. It's actually eczema. Eg eczema. 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 Yeah, that. And with the Similac, it uh, it's not. Like he does like he will feed, like he will like I will feed him and he will be super good. I burp him, he goes like he knocks out, everything is super good, like he's good to go i don't have to worry about nothing so that's that's something else where i was like hmm that's kind of weird but we learn each day every time we have a baby so with scar i didn't went through none of this with this one i'm going through a lot <laughs> that's about it that's my update i completely forgot to film i'm so sorry a lot going on with this little human being but um yes uh Thanks for watching. I know this video is not going to be long. I always say that and it ends up being super long because I talk too much. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I feel like the purpose of this video is like just in case you see something, a rash or something and you think it's a formula allergic reaction, just go to your doctor because you will never know. You could just solve everything with a cream. So peace out, people.